So this is kind of the entrance to the park. As you can see, it's kind of unsightly coming in. This is us going out. Yeah. They got these cool train things. Hey y'all, it's AJ from Nomad Nesters, and this is a review of the Grand Canyon uh, RV Park and Motel. Um, we stayed here for about five days. Um, this is kind of the outside. Coming in, it was kind of unsightly. Um, not the best well-maintained park. Hi. Um, this is our spot. We're kind of on a downhill slope, so spots are not level. Um, this picnic table is completely unusable. It's just sitting sideways on a hill, and this whole thing from our rig over is just a big bank, so not a very usable site, but it does have trees. Um, it's been pretty chilly here. Um, Kind of show you the front park. It's been pretty barren all week. Not a whole lot going on. Site placement of the power and water are and sewer are pretty decent, um, but not very level sites and not very well maintained. They've got a bunch of storage at the front of very old RVs, so kind of looks like a rundown RV park but the location is awesome it's only about a mile 1.2 miles to downtown Williams uh, about 45 minutes from the Grand Canyon um, it's very inexpensive um, that's why we stayed here because we're gonna spend a couple of nights and in, in the Grand Canyon at the El Tovar so we didn't want to be paying full price for a place where we weren't gonna be staying the whole time um, but uh, depending on what you want to do, if you need a cheap place to stay and you're going to spend most of your time in the canyon, this might work for you. But if you're planning to stay here and enjoy it, it's mm, not the greatest. What do you say, hun? Um, no, I think it has its purpose, but it's really not a spot you want to come and hang out with. No, uh, yeah, there's no outdoor living at all here. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go.